point of that fucking story I told you of being on top of that hill at 17 and being homeless mm -hmm. is because I had a lot of chances to ice myself, Joe. I had a lot of chances to ice myself. Think of getting out of fucking prison and think of getting out on bail. When I got out on bail, I had a lot of fucking doubts, my friend. Think of getting out of bail and knowing you're going to look at 48 fucking years and you're a fucking loser as it is. <sighs> Think of all those opportunities. I used to break into a friend's house to sleep in his house at night. I slept in a rocket ship for a month outside at a park. You ever go to a park and see those rocket ships and your kids play on them? I still remember going up to the third floor of the rocket ship, finishing off my coke and jerking off on the third floor at five in the morning outside in a fucking park with leaves around me and shit. There was a <laughs> lot of times I had that I wanted that to visual do. visual is amazing. You have no fucking idea. I would go up to the third floor with a bottle of fucking Smirnoff silver vodka, a bag, a hooded sweatshirt, gloves with a missing finger <sighs> so I could fucking touch the rock and put them in my nose and shit. <laughs> You know what? No, 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 no. That's all funny. Uh, that's all funny on the way up the stairs and shit. But when you're, when you come down and you're in that rocket ship and it's five in the morning and it's twenty fucking two below zero, uh, and you're you're thinking to yourself, fucking God took away my mother. God did this. This is all God's fault because this the, the same God that I was raised to believe that was going to help me is doing all this. A lot of times I wanted to fucking do a swan dive, but I uh, didn't. You know, it's so fucking weird. I was in those positions for a long time, Joe. Yeah. Now I got to look at you and go, Jesus Christ, look at Ike Turner's. No, no, Tina Turner's son killed himself yesterday. It wasn't Ike's son, though. I thought it was Ike's son with her. Mm. You know, this trend of fucking people icing themselves. That scares me. That concerns me. Is it something we're eating? Is it something that we're getting weak on? You know, there was no bl drugs in Bourdain's system, so we can't blame fucking prescription drugs. You on know, he this was one. on one uh, medication, some sort of medication, um, and it was, it was something that was prescribed for him. Someone told me that it was malaria medication. I don't know. Probably. I don't know if they've released that. But I'm sure he had to take some of that stuff yeah. sometimes. But, you know, you don't know what it was that did him in. I mean, what does, according to some people, he really wasn't doing well. You know, I don't, I don't know. I need to, I mean, it's almost unnecessary to get, for me to get the full story. I miss the guy. He's gone. That's it. You know, I mean, I don't need to, I think, whenever, whenever someone does something like that, whatever it is, if there's one thing that people could point to and say, hey, there's a chemical that's responsible for this or there's a... Uh, a gene problem that's responsible for this, or the, like, how could someone who's loved so much want to step out? I mean, that must be a terrible moment of pain Talk about a to month want to ago, do it. I had them. You ever been on the computer listening to music on YouTube, mm -hmm. and you're writing, right? And it just keeps playing songs, and you don't, you don't have no control of it. I think I, I started with Leonard Skinner, uh, Simple Man. Right. And I kept going on the Leonard Skinner trip, and I went, and I came back, and at one point, blow up the outside world. Oh. And I'm sitting there, and he says that line about uh, going out or something. Joe Rogan, my lip started shaking. Like, I'm like, I don't even know this guy, and I miss right. him. I don't yeah. know this guy. You want me to look you people and tell you I know? I met Chris. I met Chris. I don't know. I don't know. I never. I saw him one time at the comedy store, six feet away from me, Chris Cornell. That's it. And I started crying. Like, how could somebody like this go in a room and just ice themselves? Is this what I'm gonna do because I'm in this fucking entertainment field? Because what what happens? And then I think about all these times. One time, I broke into my friend's house. And I broke in the window and it was freezing, so I couldn't even sleep in that room. I had to sleep in the hallway. And there was a mattress on the wall that had, like, piss stains from all the kids. And I pulled it down. I slept on it. And when I woke up, he had a dog. And it, when it was, it was too cold, he just let the dog shit downstairs. And there was, like, 20 pieces of little rolled-up shit that had been, you know, like when the, the, the <laughs> juice goes out of them, they just roll up. What's those things that you use as a... Harm uh, uh, organ, oh. what are those? Accordions? Accordions? <laughs> it yeah. was like a, a piece of shit shrinks, like an accordion. <laughs> when the moisture goes out of it, it really does. 
So if you take a shit that's this big right. and you put it in a box, come back a week later, <laughs> it's like this big. How do I know that? Because I did it to a guy in prison. Uh, I took a shit in a welfare box one time. You know the oh, one the, Jesus. You know the boxes of cheese where the cheese comes in, American cheese? Yes. This dude had long hair and would always try to play me like he was with the biker dudes. Oh, so he took he a shit in a box for him? But he played. He, were, he, lived in the, he worked in the kitchen. He forgot I ran the kitchen. And it was all me and black dudes. So one day I got one of the uh, welfare cheese boxes, and I took like a 22, 24 inch. It looked like a lizard. <laughs> it just, it was just long, like you know, thin at the end, like one of those things that Tapered? move, oh, like, like a snake. snail. That's what it looked oh, like—a long brown snail. <laughs> And I fit it perfectly into this cheese box. Uh, and I took a flag, an American flag, like a, from the cheese, <laughs> and I put it on top. And I put it in this drawer. Oh, and every Jesus night, and, and he had the first bunk on the way out. So everybody had to walk back. And all the black guys would open the door and go, God damn, it smells like shit in this motherfucker. And he kept saying, I know it does. I don't know why it smells like shit in here. And after like a month, one day he went in this month. drawer. Everybody kept saying, man, it smells like shit in here. He went in his drawer, opened it up, and he found this box. He opened it up, and i never forget him knocking on my bunk going, I'm going to find out who did this to me. And I go, what'd they do to you? And, and he goes, look at this. And I go, what is it? And I knew it was shit. <laughs> but it had shrunken down from the 24 inches to like six little inches. Really? It just shrunk down. When all the moisture goes out, it just shrunk down like a fucking... Uh, I don't even know why I'm telling you that story. It's a hilarious story. It's fucking crazy. It's a hilarious story.